New details now. A man wearing a strange costume walks into a Baltimore TV station claiming to be wearing a bomb and officers open fire. We can tell you that man is in the hospital and is expected to survive. Officers say he threatened explosive devices, but actually he had nothing but chocolate candy bars wrapped with wires. CBS4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez joins us from the control room to break this down for us. Elliot. Well, Rick and Rutabay, the 25-year-old man from Maryland, took three shots from police sniper and survived. He was wearing an animal onesie, a surgical mask, and sunglasses. He said he had a bomb under his animal outfit, but it turned out to be chocolate bars wrapped with wires and aluminum foil. Man's walking out. Man's walking out. The man wearing an animal costume and what appeared to be a bomb walked out the front door of Baltimore's Fox 45, ignoring police orders to stop. After he was taken down, officials determined it wasn't a bomb after all. Those devices were actually chocolate candy bars wrapped in aluminum foil with wiring uh, connecting each of them. The wire was also running down the sleeve of his uh, jacket into his hand, uh, basically emulating some type of uh, detonation type device. When police arrived, a car in the parking lot was on fire. The man talking to a security guard. He had a flash drive with a story he wanted aired on the news. It was him talking to a camera, um, just letting you know, us know that the government is uh, kind of hiding, hiding things. And I didn't know what he was going to do. I didn't know if he was going to blow himself up right there if he has something, but they're telling him get down, do what or whatever, but he didn't follow command and they had to shoot him and take him down. Hours after the shooting, Fox 45 was still on the air, the staff unable to go inside their own building. Well, police in Baltimore say the man won't be identified until charges are filed. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News Tonight.